everybody wanna be famous. Yeah. Preparing for a race day is something that everyone does differently. Um, for me, I mean, I, I keep it pretty mellow. There's not really much that I change. Um, just try and really only get to bed early. Um, I do my little spin in the morning. And then, um, yeah, show up to the track and just uh, do, the, do the normal deal. That's right. Everybody wanna be famous. Rich enough for the stars who complain us. Stacking papers, real money makers. My parents and everything are involved and I've had family get, get, get with me to this point. But, you know, when I'm at home, you know, I live with roommates. I uh, kind of do my deal by myself and um, I feel like I'm more of a, an average 22 year old compared to most of the ones that are racing right now. They kind of, a lot of them have their posse, their family and everything and I do, my, my parents support me 100% and my family does, but uh, I also kind of wanted to, uh, you know, have fun and uh, live somewhat of a normal life along the way. The, uh, the El Hombre nickname came about kind of like an Instagram thing. My, my name previously on Instagram was Jason Anderson 17 and uh, I was just messing around one day and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the, the Growlers as a band and uh, their thing on Instagram is Growlers so I was like I thought it was kind of cool so I changed mine to El Hombre like the man or whatever just messing around and I was actually going to change it back but then someone took my other Instagram name and said that I was the fake one and my account got hacked and all this stuff so uh, so it just kind of sucked because I couldn't go back to my other one because it was taken. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. As far as me achieving my goals and being being happy with, with where I'm at, um, yeah I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy with it you know. I'm riding the 450 class, I'm at the top of this sport and I got a factory, factory ride so uh, I would say that's, that's pretty good success so far. Everybody want to be famous. That's right. There is goals that I want to accomplish that that are going to be tough to achieve. And, and you know, you, it's the unknown factor that's kind of hard for a lot of people to deal with. You don't know if you're going to succeed. You don't know if the work you're going to put in going to work. And that's kind of like the mental side of it. Papers, real money makers. Everybody, everybody for me, I know for sure the future is going to have a lot of hard work involved and it's going to be a lot of grinding trying to uh, get those wins, get those championships and uh, you know ultimately just be one of, uh, one of the top guys of the sport.